And here is a little sneak peek of the 70-200Z mount 2.8S review that is coming soon. This is just one of my multiple photo shoots that I've conducted with this lens. What a lens. Cannot wait to show it off to you. This is just a small selection of some of the choice imagery using the 70 to 200 as an urban landscape lens. Yes, you can. You can do urban landscapes and get some really powerful and exciting things. Join me soon for the 70 to 200 2.8S full review. G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so very spectacular to see you. I do hope you are super well. Today I'm going to talk about how you update your D850, your D5, your D500. How do you update them to work with CF Express? That's what this video is about. Further to that, we're going to test out a couple of different brands of CF Express to see if they work, plus a couple of different sizes. Let's see how we go. Alrighty, we've got the software here on the XQD card. We have the D850 and the Atomos Ninja as well. So we're gonna try and record this process. Let's fire up the Ninja. We need to format the card. So we're going to format the card. Yes, we'd like to format it. Great. Now we're going to eject the card and pop the firmware onto it. I will give you the link in the comments below for the download for the D850 firmware, the latest version. Previously it was version, as we can see here, 1.11, now it's 1.20. Perhaps the most important and major update is for CFX cards type B, plus a few other bits and pieces which you can go through yourself. You accept, and then you download. Off we go. Once downloaded, so what we need to do is get our expanded file, just put that bin file, here it is here, in the root of your card, in the root directory the first directory and now we'll pop it in the camera and see what happens. For some reason the camera wouldn't let me update it from the XQD card. I turned the camera off, I turned the camera back on again, we're still recording here and we have an update opportunity here. Let's say update, yep there you go, it's allowing us to do it. Off we go, we are updating. You get this warning, of course, which is do not turn your camera off. I don't want to cause the camera any heart attacks. Okay, so the update is complete. We can turn the camera off, back on again, and we have a camera. Let's go into the firmware version. There we are. We are at version 1.2. So CF Express is supposed to work at this point. Let's first try my... SanDisk 128 gigabyte CF Express cards. So we're gonna turn this thing off. We just upgraded the camera using this card here. These are cards that I've had for quite a long time. We have a 128 gigabyte CF Express card. We're gonna pop this card into the D850. All right, go back to the menus and we are recording again and we are going to format now, interestingly, it called it the XQD slot. It did not call it the CF Express slot, but that seems to have formatted. The only card that we have in there is the XQD card at the bottom. Let's see if we can take some shots. I've grabbed this hilarious old 18 to 200 DX lens. Why it's hilarious is because it's just not what I would use these days. I think I've had this lens for about 15, 20 years, but there it is. It just happens to be close. And we are going to go to live view. Okay, we are on live view. And a picture will be appearing on the Ninja. There it is there, we are at one eighth of a second. Let's zoom in on the camera we're shooting with. There it is. Now the Ninja doesn't like going to playback mode. 
it stops recording. But I believe I just took a shot. We are in DX mode. Yep, I'm taking lots of shots here. And let's, let's go out of live view and I'll just shoot normally. Good old fashioned DSLR. And the D850 is showing me I'm cropped. But there we are, we are shooting to the CF Express card. Through the optical viewfinder, I can actually see, <laughs> can see the DX lens. Of course, of course I can, because this thing is optical. It doesn't work any other way. And here is the first image recorded on the CF Express card, one of one. Okay, so that is the CFX Express 128 gigabyte SanDisk card working. Somebody has just purchased a 256 gigabyte card. I don't know what brand it is. I think there is some concern that uh, these older cameras, and yes, in technology terms, four years is old when you're talking computers and I.O. And that's exactly what the card readers are all about. And CFX Express is new. It was only started to be released a year ago as cards that came onto the market. I have my Per Gear 512. Um, it is being used at the moment, and um, I think it's in my Z7. I will have to format it and see if it works. But what I can say here today is I've just done the 1.2 D850 firmware upgrade that gives you CF Express support. And yes, I've got my SanDisk CF Express 128 gigabyte card working successfully. I don't see why it will suddenly not work. It is working, it is recording, and that has all gone well on my D850. So there's two potential issues that certain brands just don't follow the protocols, which I would find unlikely, but possible. There might be some backward compatible protocols. I'm not sure. Who out there has used larger cards? Let me know. Let me try with the Per Gear now. Okay, so here is the Per Gear 512 gigabyte CF Express card, which has been working absolutely fine on my Z6, Z7, Z62, and on the Z72 when I was testing it. So what we're gonna do now is take it and put it in. There's the other CF Express. SanDisk 128. We're going to pop this in here and see what happens. Okay, straight away it is saying error. You can see there it's saying error on the screen. I don't think it's because it's formatted to the Z system because the previous one was formatted to the Z system. Let's pop in the 128 again. So there we go. Just so everybody is clear. This is a 128 CF Express card going in. There is no error and the camera is on. So I would have a question for anybody out there. Have you used a 512 XQD? Have you used a 512 SD? Now, of course, because they're different protocols, that doesn't prove anything definitively for us. XQD, SD and CF Express are all slightly different. All right, well, thank you so much for watching the realities of how we get CF Express working on an old F-mount DSLR. To reiterate, 128 gigabyte SanDisk card working absolutely perfectly, 512 per gear card, not working at all, we have an error. Just as a quick note here, I wanted to talk about the fact that when buying CF Express cards for your specific camera, I think it's critical to, to look at each manufacturer's recommended list of the cameras that their card works with. For example, in the case of the Per gear, there seems to be anecdotal evidence coming back that they do not work in the older F mount D850, D500, and D5 cameras. Of course, I've just tried to format and put my 512 gigabyte card into the D850 and it did not work. But if we look here, Per gear 
acknowledge very carefully the supported camera models. So here they are, the Z6, the Z6 II, the Z7, the Z7 II, the D6, the Canon C500 Mark II, C300 Mark III, 1DX Mark III, EOS R5, and the Panasonic S1 and S1R. That is what per gear say their card works with. And I think we should probably follow what they say. So if you are trying to use the CF Express cards in a D850, D5 or D500, check with the manufacturer before you buy their specific card. And real world anecdotal evidence and testing suggests that what Pergia is saying here is correct because it did not work for me in my d850 once it had the cf express update but it has worked completely perfectly now for something like three or four weeks in all of my zeds that will take it so just check the manufacturer because there is something like 17 or 18 manufacturers of cf express cards type b now so check with them my suspicion is if you're in the z system the Canons that we're talking about here on this list that are highlighted, the Panasonic and so on, then you will have no problem with any card. And you just need to be a little bit more fussy if you're in the still the F-mount system. And just a quick reminder, if you do decide to buy a Pergear card using the link, uh, the link again has been posted below. This is an affiliate link. And I do make a very small amount out of it, which helps support the channel's independence, which is fantastic. Of course, no pressure. You can choose to buy it through Pergear directly, through Amazon, whichever way you would like to go. Now, just as a final note, a viewer, thank you very much, Andrew, pointed out to me, and I did search for this, but it didn't come up in my searches. Sometimes things are hard to find. There is an actual official Nikon approved memory cards for the DSLR series. So you can jump in here, look at the CF Express cards for the D6. I will put this link in the comments below. And if you need to upgrade to any of these and you're looking at going for CF Express, the cards happen to be all the same. As I said, there's 17, 18, maybe 19 manufacturers of cards now. And we can see here that there's only four. But this is the one that they've tested. It does not mean that other ones won't work. Uh, but what this does show is we've got one terabyte cards here. Check with your manufacturer. And Nikon won't have tested everything, I very much doubt. So there might be some cards that aren't on this list that do work. All right. Happy shooting. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. If you have any questions or any thoughts about what's going on here, plus let me know your experience with CF Express cards on the older F-mount DSLRs. I would love to hear about it. And the fact that Nikon have given us this backwards compatibility is very exciting for gear that is, you know, four or five years old at this point. I think it's great. So let me know your thoughts. Fantastic to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe. Please share this video. It helps us all get smarter. Please like. And there is over 300 videos that you can watch right now by looking down there. Click on the bell. It makes sure you know every time I do anything. Mm -hmm.